Sarah, we just right after the big march. It was such a success. Like uh, 25 to 30,000 people. We shut down this entire city. Brighton is transgender. This whole town noticed us and stopped for us. And we, we made ourselves heard and we spread trans joy throughout this entire town. You know, I've spoke with some of the visitors who came to support and I realized how many people came today just to be as supporters and allies and friends, not just the trans core community, but also the surrounding, the families, the friends who came together for one day to join. How amazing is that? I did. It's, it's so amazing if I think about it too much, I will cry. I mean, yeah, it, trans pride is about allies and it's about solidarity. Um, and it's about showing that you care for other people. And so yeah, to see the amount of people who came here, the cisgender allies, to support us, to sh support their family and their friends. What can we wish for the next 10 years to come for Trans Pride right in the home? For the next 10 years for Trans Pride, um, we are going to see a change of government and that is going to change the entire landscape for how trans rights are in the United Kingdom. So Trans Pride Brighton is going to grow even bigger, we're going to become more of a celebration, we're going to spread more trans joy and we are just going to do our very best to support our community because that's all we care about, nothing else. Brighton is a very safe space, very safe place for trans community to come and join together but it's not like that in other parts of the world. What can we ask from the leaders of different countries? How can other countries can maybe change their mindset? I mean I, I think that the biggest, the, the easiest way to change your mindset is to know a trans person or non-binary person. You know you love someone who is trans or non-binary and you understand their experience and it affects you and you are touched by it and that is how we enact change. Worldwide, it's we're all humans, you know, we're all just trying to be happy, we're all just trying to get on with our lives and, and the more, the sooner that, the, that our leaders re recognize that, then the, the quicker we're going to get to equal rights. I can just wish the same, amen and uh, thank you so much for everything you've done so far. Oh, it is the pleasure of my life, you know, I, I have never been involved in anything for this long, I have never loved anything this much, and if I think about it, I'm going to cry again, so thank you, thank you so much.